This is Darshana Gauchan with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 10th, 2024. The Cambodia Securities Exchange Index was up today by 0.51 points or 0.12% to 409.06. The index is now finally up after eight straight sessions of a downward trend. Total trade volume was however very, very light, with only 62,722 shares changing hands, making up about only half of Friday's trade volume last week. Total trade value was only 391.3 million Khmer real, or roughly 95,000 US dollars. On the main board, the biggest percentage gain winner was Grand Twins International, up 0.88% or 20 real to 2,290 real per share, followed by the Sienukville Autonomous Port, which was up 0.66% or 80 real to 12,280 real per share. The only other stock to see a percentage rise was CamGSM or Cellcard. On the other hand, the biggest loser of the day was Pestec Cambodia, down 1.76% or 40 real to 2,230 real per share. Other stocks to see percentage drops were the Phnom Penh Autonomous Port and Akleda Bank. In terms of trade volume, Akleda Bank was the market leader once again with 39,137 shares changing hands at a total value of around 71,000 US dollars, accounting for roughly 53% of all shares traded. On the growth board, JS Land saw a 0.77% drop, while DBD Engineering was up 0.45%. In other market news, Royal Group Phnom Penh SEZ has announced it will be buying back 405,000 of its shares via auction trading over a three-month period from June to August 2024. The Khmer real to USD continued to weaken to 4,111 real per US dollar, while the US dollar index strengthened to 105.29. Oil prices edged up on Monday, buoyed by hopes of rising fuel demand this summer though gains were capped by a strengthening of the dollar on receding expectations of imminent cuts to U.S. interest rates. Goldman Sachs analysts said in a report that they expect Brent to rise to 86 U.S. dollars a barrel in the third quarter of 2024. Brent crude futures gained 16 cents or 0.2% to 79.78 U.S. dollars a barrel. Gold prices held steady with spot gold unchanged at 2,296.17 U.S. dollars per ounce. U.S. gold futures fell 0.5% to 2,313.30 U.S. dollars. Over in Europe, shares were driven down after a strong showing by right-wing parties in the European Union elections, weighing on the euro and pushing up borrowing costs across the continent. As of the time of the Cambodian market's closing, U.S. futures appeared to be set to open down after a strong jobs report on Friday diminished hopes that the Federal Reserve will lower interest rates this year. This was Darshan Agauchen with your B2B Cambodia market update for June 10th.